Namaskar. I am Dr. Shashi Tiwari from Delhi University. Today's my topic is Insights from Vedic and Sanskrit Wisdom for the Preservation of Human Life. As we all know, the Vedas and Sanskrit literature have enriched our society from the time immemorial. A study of the literary resources of ancient times is absolutely relevant and essential today. This is the age of globalization. Nowadays, people are totally influenced by modernity and materialism. Absence of values and ethos are seen here everywhere, in society, in individuals, everywhere. Vedic seers realize the true and essential meaning of human life because they were true visionaries. They have written a long and vast Vedic literature. And after that, when Sanskrit literature was written, even Vedic thoughts, Vedic concepts were reflected there. Vedic insight guides us for the achievement of true success in all stages and for leading in happy, flourishing and peaceful life. It is very important to know that Vedic literature gives details of a orderly social life, philosophical truths and scientific laws also. The highest order there is spiritualism that is on the top of every subject. But even then, preservation of human life is not ignored. We find they have visions, they have concepts, they have ideas how to preserve a human life. All life, but we are just talking here as for human life. The concept which is running throughout the literature of the Vedas and the Sanskrit includes ideas for ensuring the collective well-being of all in this world and the world to come. So they are thinking about all human beings, all beings, all creatures, all trees, everything. Everything should be in perfect order, in well order, as rhythm is the guiding principle for this concept. I will speak in short on the th three uh, topics. What is the concept of life? What is the aim of life? And what is the means to achieve that life, that goal, that uh, aim? Firstly, what is the concept of life? Vedic seers were very optimistic about the human life. They are ashavadi. They never speak of any disappointment. They express love for the life and the hate for the mrityu. As mrityu ma amritam gamaya is a very famous saying. They believe that they have been granted a full life of 100 years by the gods. So they, can, they ask them not to break the course of life in the midst, but to extend it further, further, 400 years. Adinah syam shardashatam, bhuyashtra shardashata. These are the mantras. If you want to grant more 100 years, grant, but you can't cut this hundred year which is already granted by you. And this Ayu is Devahitam. They were, they were, they were for the welfare of gods, by the gods, for the gods. So these are uh, large concepts, many concepts interrelated about life. Vashishtha, Vashpashema Shardashatam, Jivema Shardashatam. So the inner meaning of this saying is that Indriyas should be perfect, all sense organs should be perfect, all organs of the body should be perfect. If we are living a long life of 100 years, a full life of 100 years. So health is very important. Badram, Karne, Vishuryam, Devai, etc. Mantras are very famous. And this life should be active. I am not speaking more about this. As you all know, Kurvan, Nevi, Karmani, Jiji, Vishet, Chatam, Shama, the second verse of Ichava, Shukmishat, then the life should be full of medha, intellect, no intellect means not no value of life. So medha me varmudadatu, medha magni prajapati, these are the mantras. Or even in Gayatri mantra, this is said, dhyo yonna prachodayat. So a life of with a, a, a activities, with intelligence, with health, and a full life of yes, that is concept of life. And everyone knows that life is, is 
defined from one end to another end and the first end is birth and the last end is death so it in what is the life is and that is life that is i as we were discussing in ayurved pa panel also so these are known concept because this is the second phase of our conference and these things are repeated many times by scholars what is the aim of human life if there is a journey there should be an aim where to go what is the destination this is the question so in short purushartha chatushta is said the aim of the goal these are dharma artha kama and moksha principle of virtue is dharma economic development is artha pleasure is kama and emancipation is moksha but important point is that all these purusharthas are important and interrelated the sequence is also very important first is dharma the last is moksha so first second third fourth these are the this is the uh, sequence and one has to follow this sequence uh, one has to progressively go on the higher side one by one but if he thinks that one of them can be his goal then he is wrong it will be harmful for him it will be one sided for his life and that is not recommended by vedas by sanskrit scholars emphasis is given on the coordination of all the four at the same time in the life if there is a aim there should be a means and means can be in the form of principles in the form of acts or some other material so what are those means generally well in simple ways we can we find that man has human beings have so many faculties and two faculties are very important first is body the second is mind and first body is related with health and health is defined as no disease generally in sanskrit we speak we say swasthya but in vedas it is not used so frequently niramaya arogya maya so in negation they are saying no disease is health to be fit is not health to be not unfit is health so negation is important here and what should not be if it is not there then it is the desired state of health like that the same concept is going negation concept is going with mind also mind what is the ideal mind which is peaceful which is happy and shama shanti shiva swasti there are so many words used in the vedas and for the first one for the body dharma is recommended and for the second mind peace of mind yoga is recommend, recommended control of mind will is needed and that the source is yoga and the dharma for dharma the source is veda as dr david frolly was also saying yeah dharma vedo akhilo dharma mulam so dharma if one follows all dharmas he will be healthy if one follows yoga his mind will his mind will be healthy mind will be peaceful if these two faculties are in perfect order it means he has what means should be with him and now he can get his aim of his life so i will read only about healthy body what is in concept there in the modern perception of health there is no end for which one is pursuing it hence health is for health sake one might achieve other ends after attaining health but that doesn't make health a means but in vedic view the notion of health is related with a grand narrative like a spiritual end accordingly human body is a vehicle to be used for attaining an end as says upanishad you should realize your body as chariot and the soul as its master atmanam rathinam vidhi shariram ratham evatu patopnishad so the this this is the medium body is a medium and its health is a medium its health is a goal till it is not achieved but once it is received or achieved it is for some other uh, aim and that should be our goal likewise peaceful mind peace is happiness and a state of mind 
discipline of mind comprises of chitta buddhi manas and aham is ultimate key to happiness yog darshan of patanjali says yoga chitta vritti niroda again we see negation is there the fluctuations of mind should be controlled if there is no fluctuations of mind if there is restriction of fluctuations of mind then it is yoga it is the peaceful state of mind so for achieving all worldly achievements it, attainment of inner peace is at most and that is happiness this is uh, uh, in reference to how we one will i uh, how we can recognize that a person is progressing in right direction so if we want to know this that a person is going on a right direction towards his aim then we will find that his reactions are controlled when generally human environment is full of uncontrolled reactions so the essence is neither do violent re re reactions nor show cold indifference balanced calm gentle and compassionate nature is an ideal nature and that is balanced nature and that is indicative that man is progressing on a right direction for the preservation of his life in conclusion i will read a mantra from rigveda not mantra but its meaning only this is a prayer from rigveda which highlights the comprehensive vision of vedic sages for the bright days of a happy life indra shreshthani devunani dravunani dehi etc o indra dev bestow on us the best treasures the efficient mind and spiritual luster the increase of wealth the health of bodies the sweetness of his speech and the fairness of days om sham namaskar